says we're still back at the Burger Hut. Told you we should have brought a map. It's not my fault roaming through the GPS. But you remember to bring your stupid sound gear though, right? Shh. Oh, it works now. What is it? The drama never stops. Would you quit texting your girlfriend and tell me where we are? I would, but the signal keeps dropping. Why do you open that up? See if there's anything in there that might help us. Just for backup. No trust. Thanks, navigator. Are we there yet? I will turn this car around. Hey, what's that? What? How many times do I have to tell you you need glasses? The same number of times that I've told you I'm not wearing glasses. Girls and glasses are sexy. Thanks, Roman. So is stubble that never seems to grow out. We have reception people. This place is weird. Give me a minute. Hey, look what I found. Oh, I didn't know you still had that. Oh, you know my parents, they never throw anything out, so. Well, this is good. You'll have something to remember me by while I'm gone. Maybe you should hang on to it. I mean, you did make it. I made it for you. Very stylish. You sure your parents are okay with you not graduating? I am graduating. I'm just pushing it back a semester. Right. I, it just seems like a bad time to travel. Especially with people you just met. I mean, you barely know them. I'm only going to be gone for six months. And you know what I'm going to do as soon as I get back? I'm going to call my best friend. Want to go explore with me? Are you going to do this the whole trip? Well, I gotta build my sound library. I'll pass. I think I'm gonna stick with the group. Come on. Live a little. That's the point. Is this a private party? Where's he going? Oh, you know, to record the animal sex sounds for his personal use. <laughs> Everything okay? Yeah, I just wanted to talk to the lawyer. Oh, try him again before we leave. I've been trying for two days. All I get is a busy signal. How are we getting into the house? I guess there's a caretaker or something. He'll be there. Man, I wish somebody would give me a house. Yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> what do your parents think of it? You know, the Harris's. The Harris's are my parents. I haven't told them yet. What? Why not? I don't know. I've asked them about my real family before, but they always got upset. I guess I didn't want to hurt their feelings. 
Well, who'd you get the house from? An aunt, I think. Wanted to talk to the lawyer more. Are you fucking kidding me? Boys. What do you think's going on? I think there's Jessica. Seriously? He can't take a vacation? What does she think he's gonna do? I don't know. I try to stay out of Mark's love life. Except for that time when you were Mark's love life. Radio tower feedback. Signal's gone. Well, at least we have the map. It's not bad. What is it? She dumped me. Oh. I'm so sorry. It's probably for the best. Maybe you're right, Sam. I'm getting sick of fighting with her all the time anyway. Hey, we're gonna have a great time. Maybe you guys will get back together when you get back to school. Or not. Be Sam. I am. Nice to meet you. Eric. Mark. Caitlin. Roman. 
Okay. Let me just get this gate open for you and I'll follow you in. Exactly the four bedroom, two bath estate we were hoping for. Well, at least there's a gross barn, probably infested with rats, right next door. You're always looking on the bright side of things, Roman. Is that really it? Hmm. The driveway keeps going up, so maybe that's where he lives. Who? Glenn. His name's Eric, retard. He just told us his name. I guess. He looks like a Glenn to me. Here we go. This is great, Sam. Pool. There's a pool, buddy. I don't swim. It's five feet deep. Well, let me show you around a little. There's going to be some serious late night skinny dipping going on in this pool. Oh, fuck. Over there's the well. Wait, we have to get our water from a well? No, you have running water comes from a well. Sorry, they're city boys. They're dumbasses is what she means to say. Oh, OK. Hey, you don't agree with that. Hey, what's in here? It's just a bunch of junk. What about the barn we passed? It might be best if you stay out until I'm done. Everything is covered in dust and crawling with black widows. Well, I'm convinced. I should get the power turned back on for you. This is right around here. Hey, somebody tell us when the lights come on. House fire. Insurance. <laughs> no, a bonfire. Don't listen to that idiot. Hey, where do we sleep? Uh, there's two bedrooms in the back. I'm gonna take the couch. Well, I'll take one of the bedrooms. Who's gonna join me? Sorry, big boy, you are on your own. <laughs> Sam and I are taking the master bedroom. Well, that's all we're gonna be thinking about tonight. Right, Eric? Uh, there's a 
fire pit in the woods behind the pool. Thanks so much for showing us around. I'm sure I'll have other questions. Yeah, anything you need, my place is right down there. Hey, <laughs> do you want to hang out with us tonight? Really? Really? Yeah, you should totally hang out with us. Uh, okay. You sure you don't want to drink? We have plenty. Oh, no, I don't. I don't drink. I can't stand those. They taste like cough syrup. I get a pretty bad rap, but these are pretty good. A buddy of my platoon got me hooked on them. You were in the military? So was my... My dad. Yeah. He's in the army. Haven't been able to kick the bad habits yet. I'm trying, though. Do those work? No, not at all. I don't know, man. It just sounds like a bunch of noise. Well, I, it is technically a bunch of noise, but you mix it together and it's a song. I wait, 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 wait. Let me just show you this part. Don't just get too excited. Remember the time when you peed your pants in the, the talent show? Oh, in sixth grade. Eighth grade. I didn't have anywhere to stay when I got back, so your aunt offered me the caretaker job. I could just stay on the property until... The new owner decides what they want to do with it. What are you going to do with it? Hey, Eric. Are there any weird stories from around here? You know, cults or meth rings or something? Yeah. I mean, every town's got a creepy story. It's a little cliche, right? Not every yeah. small town has to be strange. Did nobody die around here? Sam's aunt. She died here. Not died. Murdered, you know what we mean. Wait, where did she die? Don't tell me it was in my room. I found her in a rocking chair in the middle of the day. Just like that? Peaceful? Yeah, peaceful. So everything in there belongs to a dead lady? If I wake up in the middle of the night and there's an old lady standing over me, I am going to freak the fuck out. Maybe you'll wake up to the creaking of the rocking chair. Oh. Yeah, maybe you'll hear creaking. You'll get out of bed, come down the hall, being careful not to make a sound. And you'll come around the corner, slowly, slowly. And what do you see? Roman, eyes closed, lost in the moment, just stroking away. <laughs> You'll scream a blood-curdling scream that wakes the whole house up. And that's when Roman comes all over the coffee table. Shut the fuck up. Nothing wrong with self-satisfaction, man. I guess you would know, Mark. How long did my aunt live here? Millie? She was here a while. Fifteen years. She moved in after your parents left. My parents? You didn't know that? Where was Sam? She was here. She lived here until she was five. Holy shit, that's crazy. I was born here? Who were they? Sam's parents. James and Ellen Sater. Your last name's Sater? It's Harris. I know, I just mean... Everything all right, Sam? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just... It's a lot to take in. I saw that name Sater on the map. Sater Ridge. Sam's great-grandfather used to own most of the land around here. Huh. Oh. Wow. You know a lot about the family? I guess. I grew up around here. You lived near here? Yeah, next property over five miles down. Sam and I used to play in these woods. We knew each other. No way, really? I don't remember any of this. Oh, you were just a kid. Well, I'm gonna turn in. I'm still on military time. You sure you're okay, Sam? Yeah, I'm fine. Just... Is he that weird when he was a kid? 
I don't remember anything before the Harrises. property was pretty big. What's that? Hi. Sorry. Good. I don't know. Oh, man, you were drunk. Oh, hey, Eric. You can come in. Morning. What are you doing out there? Spying on us? Mark? door was open. What's going on, Eric? Nothing. Just wanted to see how everyone's first night went. Everything was fine. The bed was super comfy. How's the couch, Roman? I like the couch. These are great. My specialty. I'd offer you some food, but, you know, I just thought it'd be the four of us. Nah, it's okay. What are you packing for? We're going on a hike. And we're going to check out Sam's property, look for Bigfoot. You know, the huge. See if you recognize anything? Maybe. Well, I can show you around if you like. I know this property like the back of my hand. You know, the hot water didn't come on all night. We were hoping that could get fixed here soon. Cold showers are no fun unless there's a pretty lady in there with you. Yeah, I can... I can take a look at it while you're out. He was just trying to be nice. What's the big deal? She's just going through a lot right now. Don't take it personally. Hey, how are you dealing with the Jessica situation? I was trying not to think about it. Thanks a lot, Sam. Aw, you poor baby. You're so brave and stoic to deal with it like you have. <laughs> you just break up with somebody after you put in six months. Six months is not that long, I hate to tell you. Property. So? So it's not a good idea. What if someone's house is over there? It'll be fine. Caitlin? No. Well, what's the big deal? Check it out. Well, aren't we feeling adventurous all of a sudden? Look, don't worry, Mark. I'll protect you. Great. You hear that, girls? If something goes wrong, Roman, I'll make sure to record it all for posterity.
if you get shotgun blasted in the face, let us know so the pretty ones can escape, okay? It's on the long mark. Sorry the trip didn't get off to a better start. Nah, it's cool. I'm probably gonna break up anyway. Nothing happened, did it? What's that supposed to mean? It's just asking. Is this about when you and I broke up? Do you really gotta keep bringing that up? Mark, I wasn't implying anything. Because I went to the classes and I talked to the counselor. You know all this. All right. I'm sorry I brought it up. Hey, listen, I'm sorry. Yeah. Me too. Hey, guys! Come on. You gotta come check this out! Wow. Isn't it gorgeous? I could kiss you right now, Roman.